Alright guys, today I have a new video for you on my Galaxy S4 and today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install a custom kernel which allows you to overclock your CPU to run this thing way faster or even underclock and run it slower sometimes uh, depending on the kernel you guys are installing. This is going to be universal for installing a kernel on this device. This is Galaxy S4. This is the Verizon edition. Um, so I'm going to show you what I downloaded right here. This is it. It's KT Das SGS4 TouchWiz because I'm running TouchWiz right here or stock uh, Jelly Bean VZW, which is Verizon. So, anyway, I downloaded this file right here onto my device. Now, you are going to have to have um, root access, custom recovery installed, obviously, the low key hack, and actually, this kernel works with the low key hack. Uh, if you don't know about any of that stuff, prerequisites, check out uh, my other videos on uh, Twitter or Root Junkie right up here, either one, or, or Facebook, any of those places. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, I got them all over the place. Um, you can check any of them. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to reboot into recovery, but first I just want to show you guys what we're actually running right now. I'm just going to use Quadrant just to show you my system information. And you can see my current frequency is basically 1900 megahertz, or I mean 1900, yeah, my 1900 megahertz, or 1.9 gigahertz is your base max frequency, and your min is 384 megahertz is your, is your low frequency, and you have your four cores. So it tells you that right here in this application. I'm just using it to show it to you. I'll show you. It'll be different once we install this. But basically what we're going to do is I'm going to use, um, if I can find it here, manager and we're gonna go ahead and reboot to recovery um, my recovery I use is twerp recovery or team win recovery project mm -hmm. and I like using it it's a very good recovery system so we're gonna let this boot up and then first very two very important things one battery life make sure your battery is almost hundred percent full before you do this two make sure you make a an Android backup so I'm actually going to show you that really quick. So you're just going to go to backups. You're going to highlight all the things you want to back up. If I can get them. Which is everything. At least that's what I always do. And then you're going to swipe across. It's going to create a backup. You can set the username right there where you want it stored. A couple things in here. I've already got a backup. I just did a couple days ago right here. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, so do your backup. Next, you're going to go ahead and just go right to installs. And we're going to scroll to where my stuff is downloaded which should be SD card downloads when you download something that's normally where it goes and here is the kernel that I'm gonna flash this also flashes an app that allows you to overclock so it, it comes with the app which is really kinda nice that you have both those things in there so then once we got this we're just gonna go ahead and flash it it's not gonna take too long to do there you go now it says right here wipe cache and del slash delvic it's very important you do this, so we're going to hit that and we're going to wipe it. Okay, now we're going to go back and then we're going to go back again. And the last thing we're going to do is back all the way out and we're going to go to, I think it's in advanced. And we're going to hit right here, fix permissions. And we're going to swipe that also. And that's because this uh, kernel comes with an app, so you want to fix permissions on that app. That's why you're doing this. So at this point, we can go ahead and reboot system. And this is asking about root permission. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. You can hit not not now. It still has root permission. It's just giving me a funky error. So we're going to reboot. Because you wiped cache partition um, and Delvic cache, it could take a little bit longer to boot up, but shouldn't take too much longer. Max boot up time is 10 minutes. If it doesn't work in 10 minutes, something went wrong, you need to go ahead and back out of this, restore your Android back up, and get everything working again. Um, so also, this is going to happen, Android is upgrading, this is normal, it's because you wiped your Delvic cache and your cache, actually, so just so you guys know that's all normal. Um, I'm going to give you guys links to this, the form where I got it off XDA developers, and it'll show you, you can pick either a Jelly Bean AOSP slash mod kernel, or the TouchWiz Jelly Bean kernel. And you pick which one based on what ROM you're running. I'm running stock, so I'm going to use the TouchWiz. So let me let this boot up, and then I'm going to show you guys what this actually did. Okay, it says starting apps, and here we go. Let me just uh, do my little password here. 
and there it is. Everything looks fine, right? So obviously, hopefully it went very smooth. These things haven't loaded up yet, but this is uh, normal. Your widgets sometimes take a second. Um, so yeah, we're looking good. Um, so then let me show you guys what actually got installed here, if I can find it. Right here it says K Tweaker. Oh, briefcase looking thing. And if we select this, it says your K thermal values do not match current apply match current apply values. Okay, why not? Alright, so it asks for super user. We're gonna go ahead and grant super user. It's just a couple things it wants me to change. Okay, so we got we got all that done. Alright. Now that we have this, this is all your cool little fun little stuff in here. Um, we're gonna go to general and you're gonna see again our min and max right here and our max is is still maxed out but we can actually now go lower we can actually underclock our CPU um, down there which is very very cool um, enable overclock steps so if we select this one now you can see we have all this extra space over here on our clocking so I'm gonna actually overclock us and I want to go to, well, not quite there. Nah. Where's the spot I want to go to? Probably right about there. That's 2.1 gigahertz processing speed. And then, like I said, maybe I don't want to even go quite that low. Let's see what my options are. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave that minimum where it was. But I'm going to overclock this thing so when we do need the processing power, we get it right there by enabling overclocking. Um, this says check this box to lock down frequencies and apps change blah blah blah. All right, like benchmarks blah blah. So anyway, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. You can do governors, CPU governors, governor adjustments, schedulers, all these fun little things you can adjust in this thing. You got voltages for overclocking, underclocking, um, extras. I'm not sure what he's got here. Yeah, so a whole bunch of like profiles and setting up things. Wow, this thing is loaded with cool, fun stuff you can go ahead and mess with. Wowzers, this thing's loaded. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to be looking through this a lot. Um, application looks pretty powerful. Looks like it can do a lot, but that's easy way right there just to go ahead and do your overclocking your CPU and everything running a little bit faster. Let's see what this says here really quick. The device has detected an application attempting unpermit actions. To protect your device, it is recommended you reboot. It tells me what to do here if I have this problem. It says go to System, Apps, Folder, and delete the file that begins with Knox. So if that's the case, we're going to go over here. And we're going to go to my root explorer and go to System. And Apps. And it said that it begins with Knox. Let's see what we got here. Like I said, this is why it's important to make your an Android backup because otherwise uh, you're going to have an issue. Alright, so this one, Knox Agent, right here. Um, cancel, we're just going to delete it. And delete. Yes. Let's give it a second. Okay. And you, that is the app, Knox, not the other file in there. That's Knox. There we go. Get rid of that. Um, we're going to go right back into this really quick again and make sure that I can have got my governors. Yep, they're good. They're where I want to be. Perfect. All right, there we go. And then the other thing you can do is you can set this right here, set setting options on boot. Um, I don't like to do this until I'm really sure that my kernel's running really smoothly because otherwise you'll have boot loops constantly on boot if you're something wrong with your kernel settings. So I like to make sure to run it for like a day or so. Once I feel like it's running that, that, that speed really well and all my settings are running really good, then I'll set it at boot to continue to set to those. Otherwise it'll revert back to your previous speed of 1.9 gigahertz. So there you go guys, that is everything on setting up your Galaxy S4 with an overclocked 
uh, kernel or CPU, I guess, by flashing a custom kernel. Hope you guys liked this video. Hope there wasn't too much uh, boring in there, but uh, informative and good information on your Galaxy S4 Verizon version. Hey, as always, guys, please check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com, adding the things to this site daily. Specifically, check out the download page. It's got lots of great files on there that you guys might want to use. Also, you can follow me at Facebook or Twitter right over there. And that is it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.